What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at the changes to the infantry division as well as the scoped basic training skill. We're going to put these two elements against each other to see which one is best for that increased strafe speed as well as a reduction to our idle sway. This is something I did some very basic testing with when the game first came out. I looked at the strafe speed differences between infantry and scoped. I didn't go into a whole lot of detail though. I didn't look at each weapon class individually. Today we are going to be going into a lot greater detail here so we can see the true differences with the SMGs, the rifles, and the LMGs. I'm not going to be covering the other categories of weapons because for those other classes of weapons, it's not nearly as important to understand the strafe speeds. It's mainly going to be your SMGs, your rifles, and your LMGs. So first up, just to give you guys a basic understanding of how movement speed works in this game, everything is based off of a 100% movement speed. This 100% movement speed is the speed that you're able to move with an SMG or a pistol without aiming down sight and without sprinting. That is the baseline movement speed for the game, and everything is based on a percentage of that base movement speed. So for example, if you're sprinting with an SMG, you're going to get 130% movement speed after this update. That means you can go 30% faster than that base movement speed. On the other end of that, when you're aiming down sight and strafing while aiming down sight with an SMG, you move at 72% of that base movement speed. Aside from the grease gun, which is the one exception, you move at 76% of that base movement speed. So now that we understand that, let's get into the different categories of weapons here. So the SMGs, like I said, they have a base 72% aim down sight strafe speed. So when you're aiming down sight, this is how fast you move. For the rifles in this game, all of them have an aim down sight strafe speed of 40%. And the same thing goes with the LMGs, you generally have a 40% aim down sight movement speed. With two exceptions, the Bren has a 28% movement speed when aiming down sight, which is very slow, and the GPMG is just slightly slower than the other LMGs at 38%. Let's first look at infantry, specifically the tier 3 division training skill that allows you to move faster when aiming down sight. For SMGs, our aim down sight strafe speed goes from 72% all the way up to 90%. For rifles, we get a much larger increase from 40% all the way up to 77%. And for LMGs, excluding the brand, we go from 40% up to 69%. So for SMGs, this is a 25% increase to our aim down sight straight speed, which is nice, but it's nowhere close to what we see with the rifle category. With the rifles, we actually get a 92% increase to our aim down sight straight speed, which is massive. And we see a somewhat similar story with the LMGs, although not quite to the same extent as the rifles, with a 73% increase to our aim down sight straight speed. Now let's compare this with scoped. With the SMGs, our aim down sight straight speed goes from that 72% up to 84.5%. With the rifle category, it goes from 40% up to 72.5%. And finally, for the LMG category, it goes from 40% up to 65%. So you can clearly see here that infantry is in fact more powerful than scoped when it comes to the increase to our aim down sight strafe speed, but both of them do provide a very noticeable increase, especially with the LMG and the rifle category. It's nice on SMGs, but it's helping the most with rifles and LMGs. Speaking of LMGs, we have to take this one step deeper with the LMG category because they have really interesting aim down sight strafe speed mechanics when it comes to actually firing your weapon. The LMG category is the only category that gets an additional penalty to your movement speed when you're actually firing your gun. So if you're aiming down sight and you're strafing without firing, you have your 40% strafe speed for everything but the brand and the GPMG. But as soon as you pull that trigger, it slows you down even more and you get an additional penalty for that. And you don't see this penalty with any of the other weapon classes in the game. One of the changes we got with this division's update this past week is when using infantry or scoped with an LMG, this penalty has been reduced significantly compared to what we saw before this update. So if we're using an LMG, we're aiming down sights, and we're firing without using infantry or scoped, this actually gives us a movement penalty of 60%. So we're moving 60% slower than we were if we weren't firing our gun. With infantry after this patch, this penalty goes from 60% all the way down to approximately 6.5%. So you're practically eliminating that penalty while aiming down sight and firing with LMGs. As for scoped, we see a really similar story where it's an insane reduction to the penalty, but it isn't quite as much as the infantry division. That penalty is now reduced down to approximately 11% rather than that 60%. So as you can see here, when using LMGs, there's been a massive buff to using infantry and scoped when it comes to aiming down sight and firing your weapons. Now one last thing to cover when we're looking at infantry as well as scoped is the reduction to our idle sway. Before this update, infantry didn't help with your idle sway at all, that was only reserved for scoped. 
Now the 4th division training skill for infantry does reduce your idle sway, and based off everything I can see here, that reduction seems to be identical between infantry and scope, so there really doesn't seem to be an advantage for using one or the other when it comes to that idle sway reduction. So overall, when it comes to that aim down sight stray speed, it's pretty clear that infantry is better than scoped, but not to a really significant extent. I would still say scoped is an excellent choice for a basic training skill on something like a rifle or an LMG, because you still get a great increase to your aim down sight strafe speed. Having said that, if you want to absolutely maximize your aim down sight strafe speed, infantry is the way to go. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of infantry as well as scopes? Do you rely on that ability to stray faster when aiming down sight with certain weapons, or do you usually just skip out on these perks? Also, what do you think of the changes they've made to the LMGs where they get a significant reduction to their penalty when aiming down sight and firing your weapon? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.